Roger, congratulations. That win gets you through to the semi-finals. How happy are you to have confirmed that with a match to spare? Well, I mean, very happy. It's a, it's a great relief. Um, I knew it was going to be a tough group, dangerous group. with a lot of hard-hitting guys indoors uh, on a faster court because they've sped up the court a little bit here over the years now, especially the last two, apparently. And you can feel it, you know. Uh, margins are smaller. Uh, matches are played in a tighter fashion. And I think Cilic is only getting better every match that he plays as well. So I'm happy I don't have to to play to win a set or play to win the match to make to the semis. Now I can sort of maybe take a day off tomorrow, who knows, and then, you know, really start preparing already in my mind for Saturday uh, instead of, you know, all out match, uh, you know, in a couple of days. And of course, it was a very different match to against Jack, a, a very up and down match. Did you have to make any specific technical changes to the way you approached the second and third set? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, Jack and Sasha, you can't really compare those two players. They, their strength is in a totally different place. So I think their match will be quite interesting to see as well because they'll try to wrestle it in a way that they will control, you know, the, the, the rounds from the backcourt. And, you know, I did a lot of defending today. I would have loved to be on the offensive a little bit more, but I think it has something to do with Sasha's game. And maybe I haven't quite found my rhythm yet uh, here in, in London quite yet, but, you know, I'm... I'm, I'm through to the semis. I did hit some good shots. Um, you know, I'm defending well. My fitness is there in my mind. I'm still fresh. I haven't overplayed this season, so I, th I think I still have something left. And what about your final group match? Will it be tempting to take it easy, or is the momentum of continuing to win too important? I've been in that situation many times before, you know. Um, it hit me hard back in 2002 when I qualified after two matches uh, for the very first time when I was there. And honestly, it was a horrible experience for me to have had qualified but having still a group match to play. Um, I think I beat uh, Juan Carlos Ferrero maybe, Zverev's coach, I think in the second round Robin match. And then I ended up, uh, oh, it was maybe he was in the first one, and then I ended up uh, playing Thomas Johansson who came in for Andrea Agassi in the last match and I was like, what are we playing for here? You know, I knew there was points, I knew there was prize money, but Normally, a tennis player, he either, either you move on or you lose, but you don't just play a match, you know? So. It, my mind was really spinning the entire match. I ended up winning it, and I think it gave me... It was a great experience for me, and ever since, I've had a very solid mindset. You go out there, you try your best, enjoy yourself, and then afterwards, you know, you sort of move on with it. And so I'm in, in that position 15 years later, so it's, it's quite ironic. Roger, thanks, and congratulations again. You're welcome. Thank you.